Hi everybody and welcome to my Saturday. This is Connie and I am here with a bookcase.club unboxing. And if you are interested in all at all after this, please go to bookcase.club.com and check out their your options. There are so many options. You can get mystery books, you can get um, young adult books, you can get uh, paranormal books is what I got. Um, it, I don't know exactly right now what each one is called. You can also get kids books where you get four books a month instead of two. Um, there's an option now to get uh, two cookbooks every three months I believe. And there's also an option to get two different um, boxes of coloring books which I hope that I qualify for to review because I would love to do that. Alright, so let's get into this box. I did not get any, I haven't been getting any notes the last few months. There's usually a personalized note in there, but I have not been getting one. Okay, but I did get a bookmark. And this is bookcase.com and it tells me about the books I got on the back. Okay, the first book, let me get a little more comfy here. The first book is Secrets in the Shadows, a gripping supernatural drama by Jenna Black. And Jenna Black is an awesome author. I have read her quite a while ago. Um, I'm trying to think. It was about a... I'm kind of thinking she was kind of like an exorcist. But I'm not sure. But it is. they were such good books. I loved them. But I read so much that I forget. So... Sorry about that. Anyway, this is called, uh, this is Guardians of the Night series. And I'm sorry, too, that I did not research these before getting on here. Like a dope, uh, as I usually am. <laughs> so I don't know if this is number one, number two, whatever. Um, the same with the second book. It's a series book, so I don't know what it is. Okay, so anyway, the back cover says, I'll hold this up for you. Um, maybe I won't be able to. I can't read it down there. Uh, Jules Gerard always thought the vampire who betrayed and turned him was dead. But when he discovers that Ian Squares may still be alive and killing in Baltimore, Jules' long dormant thirst for vengeance is reawakened. After Hannah Moore's fateful encounter with the Broad Street Banger, the petite P.I. vowed to keep as far away from the Guardians of the Night as possible. But when her best friend and former business partner, partner asks her to help, save Jules from himself, Hannah reluctantly agrees to track Jules down and convince him to return to the Guardians. Jules doesn't want help from anybody, much less a stubborn, bossy mortal who doesn't seem to realize how much danger she's really in. Unfortunately, he soon discovers that Ian is far too powerful to take on alone. Caught in a deadly game that quickly spir spirals beyond his control, Jules must choose vengeance or love. Damnation or Redemption. Doesn't that sound good? It really sounds like a good book. I'm happy with this because it's been a, a minute since I've liked any of the books that I've gotten from them. So I'm so, so, so thrilled with these this month. All right. Let's see if this is any different. Okay. Um... Secrets in the Shadows was one of the bravest, stupidest things you've ever done, he said into my hair. You just scared ten years off my life. I let out a little laugh, adrenaline still pumping through my system. You're a mortal dummy. I was before I met you, he quipped. Jenna Black, Secrets in the Shadows. The next book is by Sarah McCarty, and I've also read her. And this is Jace, the Shadow Wrangler's Natural Best-selling author of Jared, a vampire's pa fashion. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. A vampire's passion runs hot, and there is the cover of that one. So this is not the first one because it looks like Jared was the first one. But maybe you these are standalone. I'm not real sure. Okay, the back says Sarah McCarty is an author you want to read. He had one need. Jace Johnson never thought of himself as a family man. He felt much more at home as a vampire, raising hell out on the range. But when he met Mary, all things changed. Their relationship was forbidden and tumultuous. I can't say that word. 
tumultuous. <laughs> that sounds stupid coming out of my mouth. It came to a gut-wrenching end the day Mary disappeared. And when after a year of searching, Jace finds Mary in a sanctuary enclave, he has only one vow, to take back what's his. She had one hope. After a year of cruel experimentation by the sanctuary on her werewolf form, Mary is no longer the passionate mate Jace remembers. Closed off and resolute, she, all she lives for is the rescue of the daughter Jace never knew they had. Taken from her at birth by the sanctuary because of her unique vampire werewolf bloodlines. They have one chance. Now Jace and Mary will have to overcome the tragedy of their past. It's only way to save their beloved child from the deadly grip of a merciless enemy and to reclaim the future they both desire. Praise for Jared. That was the other book, A Sexy Cowboy with Bite. Okay, there's the cover there, and let's read what this says here. Uh, hey, sweet talk isn't supposed to make you cry. I think you're out of luck because that was too corny because I blinked and you didn't go away. You're real. He felt the same way, the joy that she was here, the lingering panic that it was just another dream he'd wake up from, her name an echo of desperate hope in his head. Sarah McCarty, Jace. Oh, I gotta tell you how happy I am at um, both of these books. I mean, I, I'm thrilled. They both sound awesome, and I will be reading them. So this is the books this month. They're um, usually, I got them for review, but they are usually $9.99 plus tax. And it's worth it in my eyes. You can get um, two cookbooks a month, or every three months. You can get four children's books a month. You can get uh, mystery books, history books, uh, paranormal books like I got, um, young adult books. All kinds of different books. Uh, contemporary books. And you can also get coloring books now. Which I am really hoping that I can review for them. And their cookbooks. I would love to review either one or both of those. So, John, if you're listening, I would love to do that. Thank you so much. And I love the books this month, guys. Bye-bye.